Hello world, welcome back to Razor RC. My buddy picked up the brand new Arma Big Rock Crew Cab and we took it out to the local bash spot. Me with my Arma Granite 4x4 3S BLX V3, him with the brand new Big Rock Crew Cab 4x4 3S BLX V3 and I uh, just want to share my thoughts on how they actually drove as well as share some running footage. Uh, so we were running it on 3S, completely box stock. Uh, no changes or anything like that and uh, it was pretty interesting to see how it compares to the armor granite so I did want to talk about that um, so this is my granite he's got his big rock crew cab at home I didn't borrow it or anything like that but I uh, just want to talk about the vehicle first off we we're running Jen's ace 3s batteries so these are their uh, I don't know what they're called the purple lines what I call them but um, yeah they pretty much the best basher batteries in my opinion uh, comes in a hard case EC5 connector out of the box, so no soldering needed. Nice little balance port with a little uh, cover. Makes it easier to pull on and off. And I personally only run hard case batteries. I don't believe in running soft case batteries because, you know, one bad crash or a rock or something can puncture it. So definitely recommend getting uh, hard case batteries. And these are 5,000 milliamp batter batteries, but of course they make other sizes. Uh, free shipping as well. Put down some links if you want to pick up these batteries. But yeah, definitely my favorite batteries. They do have more punch than your standard uh, batteries out there. I have some other batteries I've, I've used in the past, but if you've checked out my videos from the very beginning, I've always been running Gen's Ace batteries. Um, so highly recommend it. And these used to be their top of the line race batteries, you know, like three years ago, these are the best Gen's Ace race batteries you can get. Now it's nice to see that they actually make it for bashers as well. So the vehicle itself, Differences between the granite and the big rock crew cab is that the big rock is going to have the longer wheelbase So about a 12.7 12.8 inch wheelbase about an inch longer than the granite Granite's got what they call the short wheelbase, which is about 11.7 inches I think so uh, more of your traditional 10 scale size uh, Whereas the big rock has got like your short course size wheelbase. They still call it 10 scale But it is longer uh, and it was popularized with the short course and eight scale e-buggies and stuff like that so uh, it is longer wheelbase and then the other main change is it's got longer arms as well so the arms are about I'd say about three quarters of an inch longer overall so longer wider and what that makes for is a easier to drive vehicle I did find it uh, very stable on the ground definitely absorbs the bumps and ruts and rocks and stuff a little bit better because it's just not getting knocked around as much um, so the granite I would say is a little bit harder to drive uh, a little more frenetic because it is smaller and you always have to kind of stay on it and be aware of what the wheels and chassis and stuff is doing while the big rock you can pretty much just kind of drive over things a little bit more and not um, you know think about it so much so uh, definitely more stable on the ground in the air it does not rotate quite as quickly the granite with the shorter wheelbase it's definitely going to be doing spins and uh, backflips and stuff a little more easily I'd say this one you know you can definitely do triple backflips I got footage out there um, but the uh, big rock I'd say it's more like you could do doubles probably you know box stock out of the box uh, be a little bit hard to do a triple back I'm not sure you could possibly do that maybe on a huge jump or something but uh, yeah so in the air uh, a little bit slower a little more stable uh, and then on the ground obviously uh, more stable and then the other thing I noticed is that uh, both vehicles have the exact same shocks springs everything they're pretty much identical vehicles uh, but the suspension on the Big Rock definitely feels softer and the reason for that is that it's got the longer arms so as the arms basically uh, compress the shocks there's just more leverage on the vehicle so longer arms wider tires are just going to make more leverage make the shock feel softer so that's reasons why like the if you have a max and you put on the wide max kit which lengthens the arms they include like stiffer springs because otherwise the shocks are going to feel too soft so you do need to like probably up the weight on the shock oils run stiffer springs but they didn't do that with the big rock creek cab so overall it just feels a little softer uh definitely more compliant over rough terrain so it does give i did feel like it gave a little bit better traction uh the tires could kind of dig a little bit better the, the tread pattern on that doesn't look particularly aggressive but for whatever reason I'd say the traction is about equivalent to the granite so uh, maybe due to suspension and the tire uh, difference but overall the effect is that they are very similar so yeah that's pretty much it my thoughts on the Big Rock Crew Cab uh, definitely a very good truck especially now that they're the same price the Big Rock used to be like 20 or 30 dollars more than the granite but they just decided to make everything 320 now so at that price I think it's a great value Definitely uh, should be durable, 
Probably not quite as durable as the granite because of those longer arms. For the most part, the longer the arms you have, the more uh, crashes and stuff are going to put extra leverage on the arms and tend to break things, break rod ends or whatever. So we did end up breaking a rod end on his truck. Um, also, the axle... Uh, unthreaded from the drive shaft so something I would definitely check uh, with these v3 vehicles is to uh, lock tight this drive shaft onto the axle main one to do is the back right one because there's the way the drive shaft spins and the wheel turns is tends to unthread itself a little bit more these other ones tend to stay on a little bit better because they, they tend to kind of tighten as you uh, accelerate so yeah definitely something to check um, on my granite actually the motor screws backed out another thing Seems like they didn't quite get right. I'm not a big fan of the adjustable motor mount uh, in general, so uh, that's one of the main reasons why, because the screws can back out. Uh, so I would recommend probably disassembling your uh, power module and re tighting cleaning those screws and making sure that's on and secure. So anyways, that's it. My thoughts on the Arma uh, Big Rock Crew Cab versus the Granite. I don't have footage of the Granite from today, but I do have Big Rock Crew Cab footage I'll show now. Uh, and you can also check out uh, videos I have on the Granite if you're curious on how that thing drives at the exact same spot, 3S, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, definitely thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like, share, subscribe button, and look for more videos soon. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little scary. Uh... Yeah, it was good. He landed on the wheels. Yes. I mean, you probably can't triple it or anything like that, but I didn't want that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. It's on 50 now, yeah. It was 60 something. It's enough to. It's crazy because like before it could barely like make the jump, you know, when it was, when we had a 50%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it certainly has the power now. I know. It's getting like uh Yeah, otherwise you just hit the... Yeah! <laughs> nice! <laughs> yeah, you got that down. <laughs> Makes such a difference too. Yeah.